Hi everybody, welcome to my Facebook page. This is Sichamba Jacob. I've got a question with me here. This question came in 2023 GCE. Okay, so we needed to solve this system of uh, equation. The system of equations right here. So I'm not going to solve it using substitution method or elimination method. I will use what we call Kramer's rule. So for Kramer's rule, you need to first get the coefficients here, the numbers that are in front. So let me show you what I've done. So this is what I've done. You get the numbers, hopefully you can see. There's negative 2, 1, 6. You write them here. So these, they're representing x. These, y. And these, z. Okay? Just like that. So once you come up with this matrix, okay? Just this, this, this. You come up with this matrix. You now find the determinant of uh, that matrix. So now to find the determinant, let's do this. To find the determinant of this, it's a 3 by 3. So to find the determinant, you are going to say, okay, uh, determinant, you just write the, the word D, is equal to, or you can put the bars, this is our determinant, or just D. We know what we are finding. It's equal to, you now get the entry which is here. That is uh, negative 2. And then you open bracket, close. And then you get what follows here. It's a negative uh, 3. But change the positive. This is, I mean, the sign to positive. This is a rule. So whichever number is at y, each sign must be changing. Okay? And then you open and close. You say plus the last number here, a 4. Close and open. So you see what I've done? I'm just getting the numbers which are here. This one comes here. I put the brackets. This one, here, when you reach this point, change the sign. If it's negative, put positive. Here, just like that. Now, what are we supposed to put inside the brackets here? So here, I'm going to put a negative 5. I'll tell you what I'm doing. A 1 here, negative 3, and negative 2. Okay? So where have I gotten those? You check the number that you've gotten. So which number have I gotten here? I've gotten this number here, a 2. Right here, this is a 2. So what I'm going to do, I'll check the, the, the row, okay? The row, you can, I mean the, the column. You can see the column, which is in line with that, that, uh, that negative 2. And also the row, you can see? So you hide those. Now which numbers are you able to see? Those are the numbers you're supposed to get. The same idea must be applied when you reach this point. I'm getting a 1, 6, negative 3, negative 2. So you do the same. The column in line with negative 3 there hide. And also here you hide. Those ones which are remaining are the ones that you're supposed to get. 1, 6, negative 3, and negative 2. The same idea when it comes to this, you get this. You are going to remain with 1, 6, negative 5, and 1. So these are the matrices we needed to form. So once we form those matrices, we now find a determinant. I know a 2 by 2 matrix is very easy to find. So when you multiply these, we are going to get a 10. Because negative 2, I mean negative 10 times negative 2, it's a positive 10. Here, positive 3. When you multiply these two, and then you say plus the 3. This is how you get to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 using Kramer's eh, rule. So when you multiply the major diagonal, it's negative 2. Plus, when you multiply this, it's 18. Plus a 4. You multiply these, 1. Plus a 30. Like that. So now you simplify here. When you simplify, you have a negative 2. Here we have a 13. Plus a 3. Here you are getting a a 16 plus a 4 here you're getting a 30 like that so once you do that you simplify further here you're getting a negative uh, negative 26 when you multiply here when you work out you're getting a 48 plus here you're getting a 124 okay so when you work out now these you get a 1 46. So this is our determinant. 
So now when you get to find that determinant, understand, leave it, keep this determinant. So once you find that, you come back to this. You can see, I've got uh, the matrix here. I've said uh, D subscript X. I used this to find the determinant, but I need to form a new matrix. So I want to find the value of X. So for me to find the value of X, I'm going to check X is right here. Now this part where X is R, I'm going to put the solutions here at this region. These will come here. So when I form my matrix, it will look like this. These, they will be here. And then I maintain what is here and what is here. Only X's are affected. I'll put this, the entries of the solutions. So let me see. The entries of the solutions are these, are the ones which are going to come here. Everything you maintain, these you maintain, and these you maintain. So you form your matrix. So this is a matrix which I've formed here. So now what am I going to do with this matrix? I also find its determinant. So when I do my calculations nicely, the same steps, the steps that we are doing for this one, the same steps that we are doing for this one, right here, are the steps which I need to do, okay? So let me go through the steps with you, slowly. So for the steps here, the first thing that we need to do is uh, to identify the, these, okay? The matrices, okay? So we get this, write it, and then when you hide these, you get this and this is what we have. This one is negative uh, 3. Change the sign to positive 3. So you don't get these. You get these and these two. This is what you have. Here you write a 4. You come and get these and this. This is what you have. So you now work out what is inside the matrix. You multiply these two. You get these, these, this. Just like that. This step you do. Up until you come and find... Uh, this so this is dx so now for me to find the value of uh, x i'm going to say x is equal to okay x is equal to dx over the d so what is my dx my dx is what i've just found here that is eight eight hundred and sixty uh eight hundred and seventy six you say over my D will be what I found at first. This one. What I found at first. Just the D without it, any subscript. This one. So we'll be using this a lot. So remember this one. So we come and divide it. It's 146. So when we divide by one, we say 8. 876 uh, divided by 146, we are getting a 6. So this is giving us a, a 6. Okay? We are done with that one. So we have found the x value. It's a 6. We now find the y value. So you can see what I've done here. So for the y value, you, you come back to this. It's very important. You maintain these. Now where y is R is where you bring these solutions. You are now at y. You bring the solutions at Y. These you maintain, you maintain. So this is what we have. You can see over here, I will say D subscript Y over here. So I will maintain the X's the way they are. But on the Y's, this is where I'm putting the solutions. And the Z's, I'm maintaining them. So when I do my calculations nicely, I do my calculations, I'll get this matrix. The same procedure or this, uh, ma these matrices. The same procedure. I can see. Okay. I'll get the two. These two. It's right here. I'll get these two. Here it's positive 13. Me, I'll put a negative. Remember, at this point, at Y, we always change the sign. So I'll put negative. So I work out everything. This is what I'm going to get. A 4 here is what I'm going to get. I do all the procedures which we did in the first place. I'm going to get uh, this one. So now I'll say, what is my Y? So my y value will be equal to dy over a d. So what is my dy? My dy is what you found, negative 4, 3, 8, over, my d is 146. What we found at first. So when we punch on our calculator, we say negative 4, 38, divide by 146. We are getting a negative 3. So our 
value or the value of y is the negative 3. Okay. We go to the next question. I mean, the, 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 next, uh, the next myth, I mean, the next sol solution which we need to get. So here, it's for z. So you can see, when we go back to the uh, original here, we will maintain these, maintain the y's, the z's is where we're going to put these solutions on the z's. So come up with the matrix. You can see this is a matrix right here. This is a matrix over here. So now, for that matrix, we are going to say, okay, we form these matrices, finding that it's a determinant. So it will look like this. Hopefully you can see. This is how it will look like. From there, you work out your stuff, and this is what you're going to get for your Z. So now to find Z, we're going to say, okay, we're going to say uh, DZ over D is equal to 584 over 146. Our D is 146. DZ is this one. So when we punch there, 584 divided by 46, uh, 446, we're getting a 4. So this is a 4. So now the solutions to this or this system of uh, equations are x is equal to a 6, y is equal to negative 3, and uh, z is equal to a 4. So these are the solutions using Kramer's rule. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.